We're back to another normal video and we're doing some loose stuff. Yeah, it's a bunch of loose cars uh, I got on Goodwill. And I think it's a couple different lots, but I only took some of them out, the ones that were more important. So here's an Isuzu. This is an Amigo. Amigo. Isuzu Amigo Matchbox. And it does have a trailer hitch on it. And then here's a Rodeo. This is also a Matchbox. It's got a trailer hitch on it. A Suzu Rodeo from Matchbox. Rodeo. Some older. These are older. Definitely like, you know, older Matchbox cars. So a lot of, yeah. quite a bit of Matchbox cars in this group here. You can see some Mustangs there. So these are Hot Wheels. So we got this orange Nomad. Red lines says on the side door. It's got red lines on it. But this is not an original red line car. This is from like 2002, 2003, 2004, somewhere in that era. They had a series. They said red, it was a red line series that they put on. They had these red line wheels. That's one of those from there. And here's a Bay Wyman truck. Hot wheels and chrome racing. No toolbox back there. Fog lights are busted off of it. Metal base. And then we got this uh, Ford Thunderbird Stalker, number 28 have one. Davy Allison. That probably doesn't, I don't think it says Davy. No, it doesn't say Davy Allison on the roof, but that's what it reminds me of. Davy Allison car, Ford Thunderbird. It's got a plastic base. It's kind of dirty. I'm not sure if I have one of those. Maybe I do. I don't know. I bought a bunch of cars here and I can't remember what all of them were. Alright, some more Hot Wheels. Here's a, uh, this is the Buick Stalker. Is that what it says? Uh, it just says Racing Stalker. You need to find one that says Mountain Dew Stalker because that's the one that's worth a lot of money. But I probably won't ever find one. And a 510. 510 is from a 5 pack, isn't it, Tommy? This 510? Yeah, 5 pack, ain't it? Yeah. And then an old Datsun 280Z or 260Z. This has got a, the rear hatch opens on it. This is a Kick Gold. 1979 Kick Gold. Made in Hong Kong. Remember when they. Oh, you wouldn't remember. Oh, the bumper is broken on the front. You wouldn't remember. But everything used to be made in Hong Kong, Tommy, years ago. Yeah. Now it's all China. Same era. Same part of, part of the world, more or less. All right, and we got some Mustangs. I think it's quite a bit of these Mustangs. So we got this, like, aqua blue colored one with tan interior. And these all have opening hoods. They all have uh, metal bases. So that one's got the tan interior, and then this one has the black interior. Opening hoods, metal base, and then a dark blue one with tan interior. And this one's got sparkle paint. Nice and sparkly. Nothing's painted under the hood. They all have the, the metal base they all, and, and white walls on them. 65 Mustang. Oh. Kind of knocked that top off of there. And then some more Mustang 65s. Here's a white one with red interior. And they all have the, the white walls on them too. This hood doesn't open very much. It kind of doesn't want to open. Then the red one with the white interior and the stripes. That hood opens a little bit better, but not quite. Not like the other ones. The other blue ones have opened up better. And then we got. I I can't believe we got another Riviera convertible. I was so I was so happy to get the first one. Now we got two of them. So and these these doors open on it. And this is a Road Champs. Road Champs. Eighty three Riviera. A lot of Mustang convertibles, but there's something yeah. that we got a lot more of than the Mustangs. 
Alright, we got these guys. So we got this silver truck. It, this has got a plastic body. Airport shuttle. This is a GMC transport. Wow, the only thing metal is the dark blue. Everything else is plastic. Wow, they really chim chimseyized this thing to pieces. Wow. I, I got some that have a metal body. Plastic base, but metal body. This is just... Uh, they really went cheap on it. And here's the Jaguar with the black and burgundy two-tone plastic base. Yellow interior. It's a cool car. And an Aston Martin DB7. And so these are all these are all matchbox. Matchbox. All matchbox, these three. Aston Martin is probably a 90s. 90s? 90s casting? Yeah, 94. That's a man. Yeah, these are 90s castings, the Jaguar and Aston Martin. That bus has got to be 2000, probably 2021 or 2020, somewhere in there. It's plastic as it is. All the plastic. We got these guys here. We got this Roadmaster. Roadmaster. It's 2014. It says 2014 at the base. That yeah. was the man. That's when it first came out. This is a Road Champs here. But that's a newer that's a newer than 2014 because the 2014 ones I think had uh, metal metal uh, bodies still. Maybe 2015. And this doors these doors are they open but they won't stay open on this Roadmaster. And then we got some Ferraris. We got this black one here with uh, faster than ever wheels. And this is an Enzo. Enzo Ferrari. And then we got this red one here. And this Ferrari is a, this is a 250? Yeah, a 250 GTO. And it's a little rough. Alrighty. A couple Hot Wheels there and a Road Champs. No, Road Champs. Along with the Riviera. And we got these guys, some Pontiac Fire. Here's a GTO. And this is a... It doesn't say. See, it's kind of got no name on it. So I'm not really sure what company, but it's a 69 GTO. It looks, looks pretty cool. And then some Matchbox Firebirds. This is a T-top. The gray one. The T-tops. I think I'm missing the white one with the T-tops, ain't I, Tommy? Or do I have the white one? Um, I'm not sure. And then here's like an 82 Firebird. This one's got a plastic base on this guy. The Firebird SE. I have one of these with metal bases. So I don't know. This, one, this one's got a plastic base. This one, I think, has got a metal base. Yeah, this has got a metal base on this guy. This Crown Vic here, and this is a taxi. No opening parts on this one. 2006 Crown Vic, and then here's a Camaro convertible, an 80s Camaro convertible. It looks like the roof, the roof post is bent. And this one is a. I think it's a Zyamax, but I'm not sure. 1981, it says. So it's an 82 Camaro. And this one here is one of those convertibles from Hot Wheels. I don't know. I've been picking, getting these things lately, these convertibles. This one's a Camaro. So I got a Thunderbird. What else have we got? We got a couple of these. We got a pickup truck. This Camaro here. We got a Thunderbird. Yeah. And a couple other ones. I'm not sure what exactly they're supposed to do, and it looks like there might be even some pieces missing on them. Like this group here, another Crown Vic here. I actually, I think this is just an LTD. Yeah, LTD. This is like an 87, 86, 87 LTD. So, and that one there. And then we got this Lamborghini here. This is a Hot Wheels, and this is a Aventador. Aventador. In green. Not sure where that one comes from. And this looks like another Aventador. 
And it has rubber tires on it, but it's a mice though. And it says, yeah, Aventador 50th anniversary. Maestro with rubber tires. Look at that. I don't see that too often. Painted headlights. Painted taillights. So that's actually a pretty cool car. And it also has mirrors on it too. So that's pretty cool. The Maestro. Yeah. Yeah, usually you think of Maestro, you think of some cheesy, cheap car. But sometimes they have some pretty cool stuff. Oh boy, here we go. All right, we got after this sheriff's car, which is in really, really nice shape. And it's got a metal base on this one. And that's one, of, that's a super clean one there. I haven't seen one that clean in a long time. We're gonna get into 57 Chevy era. There's a bunch of 57 Chevys that we got in this, in this one lot. So I got two of these. These are Matchbox. They have the flip nose. These are the traditional one that you see everywhere is this guy here with the flames. You see a bunch of those all over the place. So there's two of those. No surprise to see two of them. Then we got the one, another th tree, three of them. So here's one in red with flames. And these are all Matchbox. So we got that one. Then we got this white one with the pink front end. I actually need, I need, I have a four wheel drive 57 Chevy upstairs, but I need this front nose. Just this front clip is all I need. It's missing off of it. It's burgundy though. I don't see any burgundy ones. And here's a black one. This one's in pretty nice shape. Maybe take one of those red front ends off of one of those other ones. And stick it on there. Yeah. So those three. You don't have a black one. I don't have that black one? No. Really? Wow. This one, this 57 here is a Hot Wheels. This looks just like that Matchbox one. Pretty similar. With the, the color on them. Plastic base. I think all these Hot Wheels ones have, fit, uh, have plastic bases. Here's a yellow one. All hot wheels here. This one's got the ultra hot wheels on it. So we have those. Yeah, like I said, guys, a lot of 57 Chevys are in here. That's, and here comes another one, two, and three. Three more. Here's a teal colored one, or aqua colored one. I don't think any of them have a metal base, though. Here's a burgundy one. And they all have the plastic thrown base on them. This one's a pretty nice shape. And the blue one. And they're all they're all actually in pretty nice shape. None of them are really have any issues with them too much. Yeah. Alright. Then we got a couple more 57 Chevys. So we have this one here. Another aqua colored one with ultra hots. And then this one is a California Customs. California Customs. But this one is the one with the plastic wheels. Because I know they have one of these with, with uh, rubber tires on it. But this one's the plastic wheel version. And then we got this Camaro. Lone Camaro. The ultra hots on it. With the tan interior. And this one's got a metal base on here. Blown Camaro. I think there's still a few more 57 Chevys coming up a little later. Now we got some Mazda RX-7s. So these are our Mazda RX-7s. These are all Matchbox. Matchbox. And they have the opening doors. Right hand steering. So we got the white one, we got the black one with the opening doors. Right hand steering. These all these have metal bases, these two cars. And then the blue one, it has a metal base too. But this one doesn't have no opening parts. And this is kind of like a wide body racing version. 
and raw matchbox. Yeah. All right, sevens. Let's see here. Well, as long as we're on R RX-7s, here's another Mazda RX-7 here. This white one, and it has opening doors. And it's got driver's side steering, but this one is a, I think this is a Zymax. See, it's got like that Z on the bottom there. I think that's a Zymax car in white. So that's pretty cool. Then we got the Baja Bug. I think this is a color changer. It looks like a color changer with that white coming out of there. And it's got flames, metal base, metal body. So it's definitely an older color changer car. All the newer ones now have plastic plastic bodies, but the older ones had metal bodies. And this is pretty cool. This is a little Ford EXP. Look at that. Remember those cars? If anyone remembers those little ratty cars. Kind of escorts, an escort, just a little fancier escort hatchback. And I'm not sure who makes it. Maybe it's a Zymax, it looks like it's a Z there. And it's got this opening here. I'm not sure, it looks like something might go in the back here. Like a launch or some kind of a launching. Oh, it feels like it has rubber tires on the back of it too. But a little 40 XP, that is pretty wild. That's a pretty cool one. Alrighty. And then the next group. Alright, we got these LeBarons. These are LeBarons. These are Road Champs. Road Champs. Chrysler LeBaron convertibles. This one had they have opening doors on them too. It's kind of like the Riviera, the Road Champs Riviera. So I have a white one, and then I have a black version. And I have an orange one, but my orange one doesn't have a roof on it. I don't know if it's supposed to have a roof. I don't know if they come only with the roof or if they come both ways. First, a little Baron. So like a like an 83, 84 little Baron. And then this guy over here is actually a Grand National Regal. So it's kind of a cheap version here of Racing Champions. It's a Racing Champions, but it's a real cheapy version from Ra Racing Champions. And see, maybe they have two that they have the real cheap cars like this, and they have the nicer racing champions. This is one of the cheap ones. So I'm gonna be with Regal. Some yeah. Porsches. Some older <laughs> Porsches. Well, yeah. actually, two of them are older ones. This white one's an older one for sure. Got the metal base and a Hong Kong base. Hong Kong metal base with the. Uh, um, what are these? These are not the Ultra Hots. These are the, uh, what do they call these? Hot Ones. Hot One Wheels. And then here's a black version with the 95 with the Hot Ones. And this is also a Hong Kong base. 911. So a couple of nice 911s. And then this, I think, is a Slant Nose 930. Turbo 930, yeah. And it's also got a metal base. So these all these all have metal bases on them. Some nice Porsches. Yeah. And then we got some more Porsches. So we got this white one here. It's got like a plastic wing back here. It looks like the doors open. Man, they have opening doors on this one. There's opening doors. And this is a Tamaka. Yeah, an old Tamaka. Made in Japan. 1977. Martin Martini Porsche. Uh, and then we have this black Porsche. I don't think anything opens on it. Yeah, this one has opening doors too. This one is a this is also a Tamaka. 1976 Tamaka Porsche 911S. So a couple of Tamakas, old Tamakas, and then the RX-7. 
another RX-7. And this is also a Tamako. Made in Japan. 1979. Monster RX-7. Look at that thing. Opening doors. This is a nice one here. Nice RX-7 there. Yeah. Some old vintage Tamakas were in there. As long as we're on Tamaka and vintage and Tamaka, here we go. Here's a Cadillac. And I think the cat yeah, the doors open up on the Cadillac ambulance. Tamaka. Made in Japan, 1976. Red ambulance. Cool one. And then we got this old, this is old Matchbox Mercury Cougar Villager, 1977 Cougar Villager wagon. In green, tailgate opens up on it. No door, no dogs. And then we got a couple of these green Porsches from Matchbox 911s. Opening doors, tow hook, hitch on the back. Two of them. That one's in real nice shape. This one's not as nice. This one's a little beat up. A little beat up right there in the front and the side, across the back. This one's a little rougher shape. Couple more Porsches from Matchbox. Another one, 911. Opening doors. Got blue interior on this one. And these all have metal bases on them. And we got this white one, solid white. Just got the Porsche emblem on the hood. Red interior, black base. Opening doors. This one's got taillights in the back. Do they all have that on them? This one doesn't. This one's got taillights in the back, Tommy. Hmm. That's that's different. I didn't, I didn't think they ever painted the taillights in the back, oh, yeah. but that one they did. And then we got this thing, which is kind of strange. It's got a saw blade on the front of it. It's like a tank. Yeah. And it's got this opening here, so I don't know. Something goes in there. I'm not sure what. It doesn't move. Like the turn up doesn't move. And it's a, um, holy crap, I can't read that. I don't think this phone's gonna let me read that. What it says underneath there, it's got a lot of stuff rolled underneath it. But that saw blade spins. I don't know, I've never seen this thing before. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool tank thing. We got some, what do we got here? We got the Mustang. Um, it's got no hood on it. Big old motor on it. And this is, oh, it's a Johnny right? Lightning's okay. Plastic wheels on it. 67, 68 Mustang. And sometimes it tells you what year the car is. No, this one doesn't. This is an older, older casting. And then we got a Grand National. The hood comes off of it. It falls right off. This is a Racing Champions. It's got plastic wheels on it. Uh, Grand National. It's got a different kind of hood scoop on it. See, it doesn't have a regular Grand National hood scoop on it. And then we got this old Ferrari from Matchbox. An old Lesney. Oops. Ferrari, Ferrari Bar Baronetta, and I think it has opening, doesn't, no, it doesn't have no opening doors, it's got a tow hook on the back though, it's a pretty nice shape too, well, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here, and like I said, there's the other 257 Chevys. Yeah. These plastic ones. These are um, 
you push these, you grow them back, and then you push this wing down, and they, and they fly. I can't remember what they call them. But these have the wings on them, too. It's, like, amazing that the wings are still there. Usually, most of the time you find them, there's no wings on them. It's just a car. But these have the wings. And there's both 57 Chevys, the red version and the aqua version. That is so cool to get. That is awesome. And then this one here is a 300Z Nissan. It's another some kind of launcher car. And it's by, um, oh, it's Matchbox. Burning car key cars. It's got a metal base, but the car is plastic. So that's kind of an interesting one. Yeah. All right, then we'll get into some so-called premiums. And there were three of these 300Zs. This one actually has plastic tires on it. I thought these were rubber. This one doesn't have rubber. These are Matchbox 300ZX. These are Matchbox. All right. There's three of them. I couldn't believe there was actually three of these cars in there. Yeah. Three of the exact same ones. So that's pretty cool. All right, and here we go. Here's the premium ones. These, these are the. I think they call these the world class uh, series, and they have rubber tires on these. These are Matchbox rubber tire cars. This is a Jaguar, and it's got the full details on them on these cars. No interiors though. None of these have interiors. I don't think. And you got this yellow BMW. BMW M M1. Okay. All right. I would not ever. So we got all the detail yeah. on the front. BMW M1. Tail lights. And then this third one is an Aston Martin. Yeah, actually. That's a DB DB5 or something. Uh, DB7, DB7, 007 on the back for Heisen Point. Check Next ones are Porsches. They're all Porsche. Oh yeah, all three of them are Porsches. So we got this yellow Porsche 935. Yeah, world class. There it is. Tail lights are done in the back, rubber tires, and I have a white version of the same car, 935. Also, also says world class on the bottom. And then this one here is a 959. It's a Porsche 959 here. We're gonna focus in on it. 959. Alright. Now we got a couple more Porsches. We got this one here. This is the 928. 928. Something's rattling around inside of it. Yeah. Tail lights, front ends, don't know. I'm not sure what's rattling inside of it. And then the black one's the 944 Turbo. This one actually has a metal base on here. Wow, this one's got a metal base. I think this car's got a little bit of value to it. I'm not sure. Who knows? And then the Jaguar. Look at this thing. This thing is cool. It's a cool Jaguar. XJ8, I think it is. So there's those three. Next ones. So we got a Mazda RX-7. This one, see this one has interior in it. If it'll focus in. See that one has actually interior in it. 
And it's an RX-7. And we got this Mercedes here, this white one. This is an AMG Mercedes. This one has a metal base too. Five hundred SE, five hundred SEC, AMG. That's that one's got a metal base on it. And then we got this one here, this convertible, another Mercedes. That one has an interior because it's convertible. And it is a five hundred SL. So two of those have metal bases on them. Yeah. We got these three. So we got the Ferrari Tessera, uh, no, Diablo. This is a Diablo here. This is a Diablo. Or is this a Aberdeen? Huh? This is a so Aberdeeny Diablo, not Ferrari. My thought. Lamborghini Diablo. No Ferraris. Didn't get any Ferrari uh, Ferrari ones. Here's and then this is a, a Pantera. Uh, I mean a con ah, Puntage. This one has a this one has a metal base too on it. Huh. So the Countach has a, a metal base on it. And then we got this Mustang. This is, i pretty sure it's a James Bond car. 73 Mustang, because it has a metal base on it. And rubber tires. So that's pretty cool. I didn't have that. Yeah. And then the last one's not the greatest, but... It's... Alright. And it's an M2. Merry Christmas. Let's see the tailgate. So the, the doors are missing off the back of the trailer. And it's got some scrapes on it. And I think the the the, the for the trailer, the dollies here are broken off of it too. So we got that trailer and then the truck. This is a Dodge. I think. The bumper is missing off of it. It's got white walls on it. M2. And then I also I, I got another Dodge like this. And is the other one black? The cab? Oh no. I think it's black, but it's missing tires and uh, it's got a trailer and it and the, and I think the tra it's a flatbed trailer. And then I got a uh, Barracuda, but there's no tires on the Barracuda. It's just a body. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that stuff. So this is, yeah, yeah. There was some more stuff, but we just these are we just took. I just kind of took out the highlight stuff, the stuff I thought was really kind of cool, in the lot or in the group. So yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, Matchbox Premium ones there, and a lot of '57 Chevys, Porsches. Pretty cool. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below, subscribe, hit the bell, like, and see you on the next video. Yeah, sorry for our long video there, guys. Yeah. We'll check you guys out later. Bye. Bye.